Peter Scholl from the Commemorative Air Force, Arizona Wing, in Mesa, Arizona. And behind me is our B-17 Sentimental Journey. We fly this aircraft uh, around the country and around the world, now that we're in Canada, to show it off to other people to honor the memory of our veterans. The B-17 was a bombardment aircraft that was first designed in 1935 uh, by the Boeing Company in Seattle, Washington, and used for bombing missions uh, all over the world by both the U.S. and Commonwealth countries during World War II. This particular aircraft was built in 1944 and accepted into the United States Army Air Force in 1945. Never saw combat. It was on its way to the war in the Pacific, and it was in the Philippines when uh, Japan surrendered. After World War II, this airframe was used as a, a drone aircraft, actually, for atomic bomb tests in the Bikini Atoll. And after that, it moved back to the United States where it was used as a lifeguard aircraft, a search and rescue aircraft uh, in Florida. In 1979, it was donated to the Commemorative Air Force, Arizona Wing, in Mesa, and slowly restored over a period of years to flying condition of a B-17 in combat configuration. There's about nine still flying in the world, so it's pretty rare. It's, as World War II airplanes go, they saved a lot of B-17s after the war because they were useful for firebombing duties for other kind of duties. So there were a fair number of B-17s saved. This aircraft will leave uh, Arizona, usually in late May, and uh, we basically do a barnstorming tour from airport to airport to airport. Uh, about every three to five days, we move to a different airport. It's a fundraising operation and also an operation for our museum to, to uh, go out, meet the, meet the public, and bring the museum to the public, as it were. So we'll do approximately 35 to 40 stops in a given season and uh, fly the airplane a great many miles, approximately 200 flying hours a year, uh, depending on how many rides we give.